Yes, one, one question. You. Can you just greet your Filipino American fans? Just say uh, hi. Yeah, say hello. I love the Filipino people. Say hi. Yeah, your friend, for everybody, the Filipino people, Juan Manuel. God bless you. Thank you. Should Manny Pacquiao retire? Because he's already for Well, money. if he's making millions and millions and millions of dollars and he's winning, <laughs> why not win some more money? Yeah. We had some big names go in over the years, of course. However, this year we have a first. The Hall of Fame announced seven fighters, three promoters, and two journalists to be enshrined next. Summer, three of which are women, marking the first class of female boxers to be bestowed the honor. Barbara Butrick, Christy Martin, and Lucia Riker enter open. Along with men's fighters Bernard Hopkins, Juan Manuel Marquez, and Sugar Shane Mosley. All this adds up for what is expected to be a very exciting weekend in Canada. But even he mocked Pacquiao. Marquez has a high praise for our champ. He even thinks Manny is better than Floyd. Of course, we all know that. Eight yeah. division champion or 50 and zero? Uh, maybe more division fighters. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Pacquiao is a, he, he has a great, a great, a great fight still. Really and, uh, smart, big smart, big hard, big hard, yes. But but he he, he need he need to retire because the punches is uh, dangerous. Marquez, one, one question. You. Can you just greet your Filipino American fans? Just say hi. Uh, yeah, say hello. I love the Filipino people. Say hi. Yeah, your friend, for everybody, the Filipino people, Juan Manuel. God bless you. Thank you. Canastota. It's always a great time for not just Canastota, but Madison County and Onondaga County and Nida County and people throughout the state and people come all, from all over the world. So. Ring and he's getting. To be honest with you, I'm and I, I'm gonna be around to say he's not learning anymore because he's gonna have a. Long From middleweight to light heavyweight, he became the two weight class champ in 2011. Hopkins is also one of the most successful boxers in the past three decades. He's arguably the best middleweight boxer of all time. He won his IBF title in 1995 and defended it 20 times. Yes, 20 times. It remains as a record for today. This guy is really something. Defeating every opponent will challenge him. Sounds like I get to bed, so I'm gonna do like two more and I'm going with, with, 
So you want to hog? Y'all let him hog. So, uh, Buddy McGirt will be on history too. So it's a lot of history being made. We're very excited. We're going to host the Hall of Fame weekend with all the different events on the grounds, in the community. Also, then throughout the year, we'll be having events, uh, hosting different uh, receptions and meet and greets. So it's going to be an exciting. What fight? For Shane and Manuel. He didn't, he didn't train at all. Oh, he didn't train at all? Not really. He, had, he, he couldn't train. He had a severed Achilles tendon. And they operated on him the next day. Oh. And so how can you train when you got to let it heal? So, it so he really couldn't do so no training. Shadow box, but you can't move around on your legs or feet or anything. So uh, for the benefit of Filipino people, they didn't know that. They didn't know Majority it. Majority of and the And you Filipino. can't tell them that because nobody want to believe it. They'll just say it's the biggest excuse. Yeah. Yeah. So it means he never trained before the fight. You never trained. Really, you can't, you can't train. All you can do is throw, you know, like that. You can't move around the ring, jump around the ring. So just like you can't jump rope. Manif you can't do nothing. 2020 20 years we celebrate this new decade. This year's Hall of Fame induction weekend in Canastota is set for June 11th through the 14th and will include the yearly parade of champ. some events at the Turning Stone Resort Casino, a 5K race and fun run, golf tournament, and then of course, the induction ceremony that Sunday. Coming up at six, we'll hear more from Brophy, more specifically about this year's What I follow, Buster Sports, Jay Mello. Thank you very much, Bob. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.